Good afternoon, everyone. I want to imagine you one thing. Let's say you are at bed, asleep at 2 a.m. and your phone rings. You pick up the phone and your IT director actually tells you that we have been breached. At that specific moment, what do you make out of it? Or what do you think? At that specific moment, the only difference between chaos to control would be the incident management plan. And that's what I'm gonna talk about, so that's my topic for today. Uh, that incident management would be a critical component for your cyber resiliency. So let's face it, uh, you know, cyber attacks are inevitable, right? You heard of that quote that there are two kinds of organization, ones who, have be, who has been breached, and the other ones, they don't know about it yet, right? So, and it's always a matter of when, not if. But let me talk about, uh, uh, you know, the, what the statistics shows, that average time to identify a breach is approximately 200 days, 207 days to be very exact with the report, because I saw the question in one of the booth uh, today. And the average cost of the data breach is $3.86 million. But the numbers only tell you the part of the story. What tells you what or what's most important is how you actually revet uh, response to those events and recover from those incidents. So incident management, you know, how do we define is, we define is like a structured approach to handling incident, any events that happens or any breaches, right? What incident management plan does is it obviously minimize impacts and help your organization to recover operations as swiftly as possible. It also involves preparation, detection, containment, eradication, recovery, and most of important, learn lesson, what you learn from it itself. So obviously there are six phases of, uh, of incident plan phase, uh, preparation to recovery, but the most important one is what are the lessons learned? And one thing I wanna say is, whenever you are actually going through the, uh, th through the one of those phases, all of the phases are very important in, in order to recover swiftly. So failing to manage incident effectively can lead to extended downtime, huge financial losses, and damage to reputation. And obviously there could be legal penalties if you, for non-compliance as well. So who knows about Equifax story in 2017? So because of the poor incident management, there were 147 million accounts lost and approximate the cost was $1.4 billion of that particular incident. And we all know about some very recent uh, incident that happens. I'm not gonna name that one. So contrast with the company, now I bring you to a bit brighter side. Contrast with the company that had effective management plan in place. Right, that company was a mid-sized company and approximate 6,000 employees with that. What they did was because of the better incident management plan, they were obviously able to detect the threats or detect the attack within hours, if not minutes. And they were able to activate their immediate activation of incident response. They were uh, right back within 24 hours and the result was obviously minimal data loss and no reputation to the risk itself. So whenever we talk about you know, incident plan, we normally think it's an IT function, but it goes way beyond that. We are talking about cross-functional team. IT team obviously is necessary for recovery, you know, eradication and containment uh, the other way around, but we need legal to be able to meet our legal and compliance obligations. We need our PR to be able to manage stakeholders and media, and definitely HR, which actually more responsible for internal communication and training to the employees. These clear roles and responsibilities we have to set in advance. If we have clear roles and responsibilities set, then everybody knows what they have to do and every second counts. One thing you know you can think of participating or practicing the plan is simulate incident in controlled environment. Do the tabletop exercises. That would help you identify weaknesses in your response plan and obviously improve team coordination 
and uh, decision making. So at that time, you know, when your team is uh, continuously uh, trained and continuously practicing, think of it as a fire drill that we do. Every time the incident happens, we are already know, you know, but we need to do so. Think about it as a muscle memory that you are making within the team, within the cross-functional teams. Obviously, you know, you would need right tools to be able to complete the incident management plan, incident management software to, uh, to obviously find or follow the incident management plan, real-time monitoring system to be able to detect the cyber attacks faster, and automation of quick containment means you will be able to eradicate and recover uh, you know, with the automation rather than doing the manual task. And learning from the incident, uh, what, what is, as I said earlier, what is most important is you are actually going back to the incident. Once the incident is gone, the work is not finished. You have to actually look through what, what did you do good and what were you not able to do in time. So obviously, according to that, you plan, update plans and policies, train and educate staff. And as we know, you know, cyber threats evolve. We have to update our cyber resilience uh, or incident plan strategies. So I will leave you with this. What you are doing right? Are you accessing, uh, are you assessing your current incident management plans regularly? Do you have a cross-functional team that is, that knows what to do when the time occurs, right? Invest in training and technology and conduct regular tabletop exercise. That's the only difference between, you can say, an ad hoc incident or appearing in a news next day, not in a good way. So I'll leave, it, uh, leave you with that thought that incident management, in my opinion, is not just a component of cyber resiliency, but it's the very foundation and core of it. And by preparing, responding, and practicing those incident response plan, you'll be able to recover much faster. So your organization's ability to cyber resilience is not the absence of any incident, which is obviously impossible, but it's more of how you respond to that. So with that, I will thank you. And uh, we would like to answer any questions in how Trellix can help in your incident plan journey, whether it's tool, technology, people, and processes. So thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. AJ Kumar. Well, as we all agree, cyber attacks are inevitable, but how an organization responds to an incident determines the extent of damage and its ability to recover. That's why prioritize your incident management plans with Trellix so that your organizations can build a more resilient security posture and effectively navigate the inevitable challenges of the digital world. Every day is a new beginning for your business. A fresh start to make your mark. Rise to the challenge, and one opportunity can lead to another, and another, and another. But to forge ahead in the future, it's vital to protect your present. You need a security platform with a pulse. One that's always learning, so you can analyze your data and predict attacks. Always adapting, so you can defend against dynamic threats and always on so you can stay safe with real-time detection, response, and remediation. Introducing Trellix. Living security starts here.